Right, let's uh, let's watch this. So you guys have been suggesting this to me nonstop. The story of TF2's strangest player. This has been a six month investigation. I have collected hundreds of gigabytes worth of 445 gigabytes. I will never understand the dedication people have to the TF2 community and also slight mental illness. I've spent countless hours scouring the internet, but I think we did it. I think we found the strangest TF2 player of all time. Let me show you. Please be a pyro main. Please be a pyro. I'm actually beg. I, I pray he's a pyro main. On the 6th of January, I uploaded a video called The NPCs of TF2, which is a short compilation of all the wacky people I'd come across. What's that music he's using? What's that music? Dun, 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 dun. Hang on, hang on. What's that, what's that music? Is the wacky people I'd come across whilst playing TF2. Around eight seconds. Oh, Isaac. It's Binding of Isaac. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. That's right. To this video, there's a clip of me. It's the, it's the item shop music. Waiting for a health pack to respawn when all of a sudden I noticed a demo man below me who was perched on the side of high towers cliff shooting stickies up at a gap in the floorboards now this isn't how most people play tf2 and i did think it was quite bizarre at the time but it didn't go any deeper than that i clipped it i put it in my video and that was that a few people commented about how the strategy this demo was using was actually 200 iq but besides that i didn't really think too much of it fast forward 18 days to the 24th of january where i was playing a game on moss rock when one of my friends noticed that a huntsman sniper on our team was taunting after every shot they fired. So, like any sane person would, we began to follow them and investigate what tomfoolery they were up to. They picked up a clean kill with the bushwhacker on a flanking demo, and then... Well, <laughs> then... There's something about TF2 emotes that just kill me, man. I, I talked about this in earlier videos, right? In earlier streams. But TF2 was out on the Xbox and it, on the Orange Box. It was complete ass. They never updated it. But because it was based on the original build of Team Fortress 2, it was so bugged that if you did an emote, like a taunt, and then you jumped, you'd be able to basically float around, still having full control, still being able to shoot, still being able to do everything. But you're like taunting, right? So you would have, in so many instances, a soldier doing like the L thing you know when they get the the rocket launcher and they do like you know the the fortnite l thing but like rockets would be propelling out of their chest towards you while they're just doing this taunt it was genius it was and, so broken well, though then something quite spectacular happened surely oh. <laughs> That's right, this random sniper decided to pull off a 360 huntsman shot whilst falling to their imminent death and it- Oh my god, yeah he got it. And it Lados, actually- worked. Thank you for making videos, Prio. Your hands down my favorite commentary YouTuber. Chimp with machine gun danger one who knocks better call Saul public masturbator not I really hope people like you never actually like talk to anyone in real life about Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul because you will you will ruin it instantly, but thank you. Now it was really funny, but again, I honestly didn't think- too I, I played this map recently on TF2 and one thing I'm going to say is if I see someone with an anime profile picture on TF2, I usually just DC. Anime profile pictures are absolutely cracked. Like they have no parental figure in their life, but they are cracked beyond belief. Too much of it until I saw the comments where people were pointing out that this huntsman sniper who just pulled off the frag of their life was the same demo man we saw in my previous video. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was when Bing Soy officially came onto my radar. I don't know what it was exactly, but this discovery got me really interested in Bing Soy because the way he played the game was unlike anything I had ever seen before and I wanted to know more. So the following day, I got to work. I started by creating a new text chat on my Discord called Bing Soy Signings, where people could submit any videos or screenshots they had. Literally just legal stalking. ...had of his unusual behavior. And to my surprise, we started getting submissions really quickly. The first video was sent in by one of my admins, Corey, who discovered Bing Soy on Badlands spawn camping in a way that I have never seen before. Yeah. It's just <laughs> airborne. <laughs> It's just, oh, oh, he's cracked. Oh. Yeah, he's cracked. What? Forcibly air blasting someone into water so you can pyro shock them? That takes ingenuity. Another clip from Corey also showed Bing Soy uh, camping his own team's teleporter. Another one of my. How do we know that this is the same Bing Soy though? How do we know these aren't just like impersonators? Admin's legs found Bing Soy on the map Altitude, where he repeatedly shot at a wall with his shotgun before backpedaling off a cliff. <laughs> To his death. It, it, it's genius how some of these clips he's absolutely cracked and then he just plays like he's got like it's just fucking a hand him peering off into the mountains at the edge of the map which i mean fair enough it's a it's a pretty scenic view but why what compelled him to do this this juxtaposition between bing soy's genuinely impressive plays and creative strategies to well this 
<laughs> really dumbfounded me. I was so intrigued by the enigma that was Bing Soy, and I had so many questions that needed answers. So on the 31st of January, I decided it was time for me to suit up and get on the ground myself. My investigation began in the beautiful rainforest of PL Borneo, where I spotted Bing Soy playing engineer. At first, I didn't see anything too out of the ordinary. I mean, he just seemed to be playing some pretty stock standard engineer. But later in the match, he swapped to heavy, where I began to notice some oddities. Rather than holding down mouse one to continue continually shoot like a normal heavy would, he seemed to really like tap firing with the Tommy Slav as if he were peeking an angle in CSGO. I also <laughs> noticed- <laughs> Just playing the game like a Rainbow Six Siege, just god sweat. That Bing Soy had quite the affinity towards taunting, because he was whipping out that stock minigun taunt after literally anything of any significance happening. He's taunting! Oh, he's dead. The investigation continued on to the next map, Mountain Lab, where things got a lot weirder. I kid you not, but for an entire 60 seconds, Bing Soy was absolutely determined to do this jump, which I am 99% sure is impossible. He did find a little ledge on the rocks you could glitch onto, but ultimately it was to no avail. No, he almost made the jump from the... He also seemed to be very paranoid as he was firing projectiles at literally everything on the map as he returned to the front line. And we also got another- He's either schizo or he's in like a Gmod ARG. Another glimpse of his Huntsman sniper. He saw like a- he saw like a dark shadowy figure in the corner of his screen. Type of gameplay where he would randomly shoot arrows through the floorboards. Like it's always people that are like that though. They play so poorly, but then they just somehow like God cracked. Where Bing Sui was playing Flog Pyro and for the period of about 15 minutes did nothing but um, well- Whatever this is. I don't know if Bing Soy thought there were gang stalkers hiding in his walls. <laughs> gang stalkers? To engulf every single surface of the map in flames, and God, was it just bizarre to watch. I ended up on his team when we swapped to Badwater, and it was more of the same. Except this time I was pocketing him, meaning he was actually racking up kills, and he also started taunting directly in front of the enemy team's spawn door, which is just alpha as fuck. You, you have to respect that. This rampage on Pyro was followed by some scout gameplay, except not the normal kind where you're, uh, Shooting, uh, more the kind where you drink bonk to go invincible and then proceed to taunt directly in front of your enemies. <laughs> Next up, we landed on Snowy Coast, where things seem pretty normal until... Uh, oh, Bing Soy is trying to shoot through walls as heavy, which if you didn't know, is impossible. I, I did that. I, I tried to shoot through walls at spawn when I played TF2, but I think I was actually like 14 when I did that. Bing Soy I genuinely thought if you aimed your gun like at the right angle, you could shoot through the little like chicken wire. Finished off the day with perhaps his most daring strategy of jumping off the edge of the map using the base jumper to float and then trying to kill gamers Pyro, as he slowly creeped towards from? his inevitable death. That one didn't go too well. So look, that was just one day of observation. We saw Bing Soy <laughs> suck. He's saying how well. it's so the look. strangest player. This is shit I do when I was playing TF. He might just be a kid. He might just be like an actual little a little zoom zoom. That was just one day of observation. And we saw Bing Soy cycle through at least like 10 wacky strategies. There was also some more footage sent to Bing Soy sightings in my Discord by Corey again. And yep, that's him doing his strange little thing. So look, after a full day on the field, we did observe a lot of strange behavior. Uh, that much was for sure, but unfortunately, I wasn't really any closer to understanding why Bing Soy played like this. But that was about to change, because my Discord made a very interesting discovery. Bing Soy had a YouTube channel. Now, it hadn't oh, been active in two years, my but God. quite the backlog of TF2 content. Oh, the channel started off with some Minecraft God. videos in early 2018, but that soon turned into some pretty damn good TF2 fragments. <laughs> and take a look at the most recent upload, Cliff Enforcer, which features a lot of insane Huntsman kills, similar to the one I put in my- It's like he's cracked, but he's also, he sucks at the game. It, 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 this is amazing. It's like he's got two, it's like he's got, he's got Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, like fighting for control of his brain. Video. There was also a bunch of pyro-related stuff here, a class which Bing Soy appeared to be actually very good at judging by the quality of the frags he was getting. The channel basically proved to me that Bing Soy is far from being a noob, and in fact, I actually think he's really good at the game. It's just that he voluntarily handicaps himself with these wacky ass strategies, and I kind of have a respect for that. I guess the only sad part about this discovery was that the channel seemed to be inactive for now, which was unfortunate, but it actually wouldn't remain like that for very long. You see, a week or so had already gone by since the formation of Bing Soy sightings at this point, and a cult of personality was starting to emerge around Bing Soy. He was growing quite the reputation amongst not only my Discord, but the wider Australian TF2 community. So I would actually be terrified of being in the Australian TF2 I community. Like, I, I joined that server, and it's like, because I imagine this, the Australian side decide, is full of greasers as well. And then like 300 last, ping on top of that. But they were finding his YouTube channel and leaving comments there too. So, on February 6th, with a growing buzz around Bing Soy, 
Soy, I decided to once again suit this up is and left. track down Mr. Soy. This day's investigation first led me to Landfall, where Bing Soy was experimenting with a new strategy on Heavy. Rather than using his favorite... Was, that, was there just a guy called Fast? Landfall, where Bing Soy based Soy was experimenting with a new strategy on heavy rather than using his favorite tap firing tommy slav tactic he was instead making use of the buffalo steak sandwich and holiday punch meaning he was hunting down enemy gamers to secure some taunt kills unfortunately things weren't going all that well for bing soy with this strat and to top things off i actually managed to get an accidental telefrag on him whilst i was observing i telefragged him <laughs> He did continue with the taunt kill attempts as we moved over to Viaduct, uh, but again, it didn't seem to land him any success. Things did begin spicing up when we swapped the process though, as he switched to demo I with the sticky jump up so and I can on, on the, the first rollout to mid, up. I ended up dying pretty quickly, but that did not matter because it allowed me to spectate Bing Soy, only to discover uh, this. He just doesn't look at the map the same way I do. I thought I usually look pretty vertical. He's gonna get like three kills now. More vertically. After this, he played a little demo night and began taunting after the kills I was getting, which with some nice moral support. But other than that, uh, not too much else occurred. I, I love taunting in TF2 though. I remember uh, playing a map and there was a guy with an anime profile picture that was playing as a spy and he was just like dominating me constantly. Like like just, he got about like 10 kills on me. I killed him once and then I taunted and me taunting, I think tilted the guy so much. He just kept saying like slurs and shit in chat straight away. So look, it wasn't the most fruitful session of stalking being soy, but that didn't matter because yet again, my Discord had made another very important revelation. Not only was a Bing Soy website discovered, but oh, I happened to feature in it. The this is going to be like some ARG thing. Banner, where we could make out a few things. Firstly was- I wish his name was just Soy. Background, where we can see Bing Soy included some of his favorite loadouts like Huntsman Sniper, Lock and Load Demo, as well as his fabled spawn camping pyro shot. Now the next thing to note was the foreground where there are four figures. The engineer on the left represented Brattles, an Australian TF tuber who also runs a really popular high tower server called Have Fun, which is one of Bing Soy's favorite. Now the next figure here is a soldier with a black painted Miami Knights tyrant's helm, which of course represents myself, and this did come as a bit of a shock to me. To my right was my admin Corius Pyro, who had not only submitted some of those clips I showed before, but it also started to form a bit of a relationship with Bing Soy. And finally, the one who probably doesn't need an introduction is Uncle Dane on the right, and he is featured on the banner because Bing Soy really likes the Uncle Topia servers. See yeah, I think Uncle Dane is like the biggest TF2 creator, right? Or is it Lazy Purple? I need to, I need to kind of brush up on my TF2 no lore. And they're either with the website, because in the about section, there was a subheading named Special Thanks where he stated, Special thanks El Maxo has shown the TF2 gaming world that Bing Soy is something more than a myth. What? This was absolutely wild. And one of my friends actually said something I was thinking. We need to seriously consider, is Bing Soy an ARG? <laughs> it might be, if it is. I'm, awesome. I think is that, that as well. It, it is almost like it's an ARG, right? Because he plays the game terribly, but he's also like kind of good at it. He's not always good, but he's not always bad. And he's not mid either. It's so hard. It's so difficult to be this perfectly good and terrible. Bing Soy had a bunch of other channels on YouTube too. One of which featured an animation he created that had has over 1 million views. I was honestly in disbelief at what had transpired thus far, and it turns out that was only going to continue as four days <laughs> later on the 10th of- I like how he had to show the bit where you saw Winnie the Pooh's ass before he transitioned to the other uh, date. February, Bing Soy Team Fortress returned from a two year hiatus with a fresh upload. The video was titled Requiem, but there was something a bit strange about this upload because the first 42 seconds showed this cryptic message of a happy stick figure progressively growing sadder and sadder. What? Why? What is happening? I still have no idea what to make it. I like how the way it's reached now with YouTube, you could have someone having a, le a legitimate mental breakdown, losing all their mental faculties, and people would be like, it's an ARG! It's an ARG! It's an introduction, by the way. But at the time when I saw it, I was definitely starting to believe that the ARG theory may hold more weight than I initially thought. The description also read, something good can come from something bad, which was, again, really cryptic, and I'm not fully sure what to make of it. The rest of the video featured some very cool pyro frags on Hightower, but that mysterious ass intro kind of overshadowed that for me. I will say though that Bing Soy did end up pinning my comment, so hey, we've got that going for us. Another four days later on February f The Soy Files. <laughs> 14th, it had seemed we really pulled Bing Soy out of YouTube retirement because we were blessed with yet another upload. The video is called Uncle Topia One Life Huntsman. The reason I love this video so the, the, This guy who made this video, he has such a good music choice. I've heard Binding of Isaac, I've heard Dishonored, and now he's using the Dying Light theme. He's got 
a very good choice in music for background in his videos. So much is the timestamps, where Bing Soy detailed literally everything that happened in the video. This ranged all the way from retreating at one minute to breathing at 34 seconds, and all the way to reflexive shot, shoot or die at two minutes and four seconds. In a video spanning just over two minutes, Bing Soy managed to include over 40. The worst thing is, I know this guy's good at the game, but I feel like he's the average TF2 player because every lobby I get put in, people are so absolutely cracked. Timestamps, which I honestly think is a cool idea that feels pretty ab- TF2 scares me. I've never played a game that's free to play, but it actually gatekeeps itself. Avant guard when it comes to TF2 content on YouTube. Now, I will admit that from this point forwards, the flow of the Bing Soy investigation came to a grinding halt on my end, so I moved on to some different video projects. So it was really my Discord that carried the movement over the next two and a half months. No Zero, a fellow Australian TF tuber, found him on March 12th taunting and zapping his way to the front line with the short circuit. Uh, the following day on March 13th, we caught a fake Bing Soy who tried to join the Discord, or at least we think they were fake, because Mr. Soy seems to be a pretty elusive dude who rarely communicates in game, so seeing him join my Discord felt a bit unlikely. In late March and early April, there were a bunch of screenshots of him in game, and then on the 3rd of April, No Zero made his own video compiling his interactions with Bing Soy, and to be honest with you, it's bloody beautiful. Uh, we got to see more of his pyro shark, more of his taunting, and more of his affinity towards jumping off the map. So look, at this point, it had been a while, but on the 22nd of April, I decided it was time for me to return, so I once again put on my boots and picked up my camcorder because we were going hunting. It's always been two months since I last watched Bing. Is he using the, he's using the Minecraft, like, horror music now. So, here he is. Let's see if Surely taunt back. Oh, yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. You know, That's based. Like, um, it's cute. It's website. cute. I think he knows what's up. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> just gonna look at yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna maintain eye contact now. <laughs> he's so odd. Most mentally sane TF2 player. So he's um taking a break, taking a breather. He's, he's in, he's in, he's in. He, oh, yeah. I think he did something. Yeah, he got a kill. <laughs> he's getting himself low so he can escape plan in. God bless. Again, uh, more of the same wacky strategies we were all accustomed to, but at this point, I really wanted to get deeper with Bing Soy and understand the mentality behind everything he was doing. Later that day, though, my Discord discovered a fresh upload on the Bing Soy channel called Uncle Topia Caberbola, and as the name suggested, it was a cool montage of him going around harassing inferior enemy gamers with the Sticky Jumper and Caber combo. The interesting thing about this video is that it actually went on to get some attention. In well, one thing I hate is that I, I know, like, so few of these weapons that are being used right now because most of my experience is tf2 on the xbox and it, it had no extra weapons apart from like the base setup At the time of writing this video has almost 10,000 views which is the most successful video on bing soy's channel to date he actually does some really cool work with the demo system in this video and playing around with all the camera angles so it's good to see that his channel was starting to get some more attention we also continued to get some more sightings as on the 12th of may var from my discord noticed he had a game banana account and had created a new hit sound and a custom model for the sticky jumper on the 29th of May, Digger Darby found him taunting his way around the best map in the game, CP Steel. And on the 3rd of June, No Zero managed to pocket him with the quick fix all the way behind the enemy team on Upward, where he did the classic demo base jumper sticky strategy over the wall. I ended up running into him on the 12th of June on Steel, where he was doing some strange exploration of the cliff face around point E. I also managed to score a high five with him on the next map Upward, where he went and redid that strategy of shooting stickies over the wall to the first spawn area. My absolute favorite Bing Soy sighting happened later that month on the 28th of June, where we got a dual perspective of a beautiful moment that unraveled. I don't think I've ever seen someone flick faster oh, in my shit. life my fucking... a taunt to get a kill, and boy was it something. Things kicked off on the 1st of July, where I found him taunting on cooldown with the score shot, absolutely determined to get a kill with it. Oh, he's doing what I do, where you shoot the other way with it. <laughs> Like, what? 10 days later on the 11th of July, I was playing with people from my Discord when, yep, you guessed it. Well, my, my problem is, my problem is with uh, games, especially with Team Fortress 2, is I always pick a character based on appearance, not their actual, like, skill set. So I would always play as a 
pyro like even if even if it's like a long range map and you just get absolutely obliterated by snipers even though when pyro can be completely useless i'd still just force it i remember swapping out my shotgun for a flare gun like getting this small pixel perfect shot across someone on the other side of the map and only doing like 20 damage that bingslow was playing on uncle topia he continued to sticky trap our spawn and spam pipes out at seemingly nothing eventually he did come out of his shell somewhat and started playing around as pyro and huntsman sniper it was during the session and at this point in the investigation that i finally mustered up the courage to send bing soy a friend request on steam as given how the vibe was pretty chill on the server i bet he was intimidated by that as well i bet like him sending the friend request like he the, there's so much like atmosphere built up around this guy that it would actually be terrifying i thought it was more likely he would accept however it seemed that he ignored my what invite for the moment and the instead he changed his profile picture why Bing Soy, he always does this. <laughs> Which is something he actually did way back on the 31st of January whilst we were playing on Badlands. Oh, he changed it back. Imagine being that like obsessed about a guy that you think is an ARG that you literally like judge when he, you update when he changes his profile picture. What? He changed it live. Who does that? <laughs> this just reminds me of like fan culture, right? Like when they see, like when a woman sees Harry Styles in public, he's wearing shoes and he but bought hey, new he's shoes. A free man changing his profile picture and doing whatever he wants. It was pretty late at night at this point, so I decided to get some sleep. But one of our Discord investigators named Sleepy actually decided to stick around with Bingsley which led to some very important developments when I woke up. Now, the first important development was that Bingsley accepted my friend request on Steam, which marked a nice progression in our relationship. The second part, which absolutely blew me away, was Bingsley's profile picture. Now, you remember that he changed it mid-game to this weird distorted close-up of the sniper, but the original one he had selected contain some secret messages within it. Again, this is like the most sane TF2 player. I, I, I'm unironically intimidated by the TF2 community, man. And I basically came from like that kind of that, I wouldn't say I came from TF2, but I came from that like section of the internet. In this kind of cosmic spacey setting. What Sleepy discovered, however, is that in the background- Can you watch the three GD on video drawings, after this? We can see it might make some good content. Uh, maybe. The, the drawing on the right is a light bulb, which represents my admin Corey's pyro loadout. In the middle is a little cube, which represents No Zero's profile picture. And most interestingly, on the left is Bing Soy's drawing of an actual photo of me. Yeah, that's right. It's a photo I used on Discord for oh a month. Oh my god. It's a photo I use on my second channel. And it's also still my current Twitter profile picture. You can see the necklace, you can see the beanie, and you can see the thumbs up. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. So, it's, it's, it's like a self fulfilling now, ARG. I became aware of this information is because investigator Sleepy managed to ask Bing Sui a bunch of questions whilst it was just the two of them on Uncletopia late at night. And you can see in this transcript that Sleepy asked, are there any TF2 YouTubers you enjoy watching? And Bing Sui responded, look at my profile pic. Sleepy then followed up with, are those three in your profile picture the only YouTubers you watch? Which Bing Sui responded to with a no. So Sleepy asked, but are they your favorites? Which Bing Sui responded with yes. Ah, uh, hello, uh, hi there, this is Editing El Maxo here, and I actually have to let you know something that I've learned since I wrote the script for this video. Uh, you see all these the lovely questions Sleepy prepared and, and Bing Sui responded to in this text document? Well, they were actually sourced in quite an unbelievable manner. Um, we know Bing Sui isn't big on communicating through text or voice chat, so to get the answers to these questions, and I kid you not, Sleepy spent almost two hours in the middle of the night going around Koth Lakeside having Bing Soy either shoot at letters on signs or draw them with bullets or use the Scottish resistance to spell them out. Which what? Sleepy would proceed to transcribe in text chat and Bing Soy would shake his head if they were right. It wasn't just like he spelt letters out with shooting holes in the wall with his gun. Out messages. He had this whole actually most mentally stable TF2 player. Whole process, and I had no idea about it when I wrote the script for this video. Sleepy has the full one hour and 47 minute recording on his computer, but he sent me through this small section to prove it, and oh my god, what the fuck. I had no idea Sleepy went to such lengths to secure some answers. I like, I like how Bing Soy up there, his icon is just like a silhouette as well. Like that is just maximum intimidating. Yeah. Th this isn't even abnormal for the TF2 community though. It's not abnormal. Finding this out the next day sent me spinning. We were now even deeper into the Bing Soy rabbit hole and I was all for it. It was at this point that I knew I had to make a documentary on this because the story so far was too goddamn interesting to pass up on. Sleepy also collected some more footage of Bing Soy whilst I was asleep and it uh was some of the strangest stuff I've seen so far. The next day, whilst I was playing on Bomb Blitz, I came across Bing Soy yet again, hiding in a bush as Huntsman Sniper. You may again recognize this clip because it featured in my last clip dump and marks Bing Soy's third official appearance 
in an El Maxo video. So look, it was clear at this point that the way Bing Sui played TF2 was strange. I don't think anyone could deny that, but we still didn't know why. What fueled that? That is the most intimidating thing you can see on Steam, by the way, seeing that someone's profile is private. I actually get a shudder through my spine when I see that. Well, we could theorize, I bet we could I'm come up with some wild speculation, and we I've could been watching to observe since him and maybe edge just- You're 37 and you've been watching since 2015. You, you have to be the oldest. Yeah, th there's no doubt. There's no doubt. That's insane. I got someone that watches me who's 37. I, I genuinely thought my oldest viewer would be like two. Just that little bit closer to an answer, but why would I do that? If I wanted to know the truth, I had to ask Bing Soy directly. So I conjured up this grand message with five questions in it. Number one was what compels you to play the game like you do. Number two was what is your favorite unconventional strategy to use. Number three was do you have any long-term goals with TF2 or your YouTube channel? Four was have you enjoyed the increased level of attention you've gotten in the past six months? And five was what piece of advice would you give to the TF2 community? I didn't really want to poke and prod into his personal life, but I did want to get a better idea of what made him tick. Imagine he just sends him a message. He's like, why are you so fucking weird what, what's wrong with you what what why don't you talk in chat and why don't you add me on steam i wasn't fully sure if we'd get a response given how private bing Sui seems to be but given sleepy managed to ask him some questions i was praying we would get some form of response and so i waited and i waited it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen and i waited it's not going to happen. I never got that response from nah, Bingsway. I no. tried this last ditch effort of investigating him whilst he was on Upward, and just as you'd expect, he was on his favorite pick, Huntsman Sniper. He was getting kills. The, the, this man has evolved beyond the need for text. He's evolved, but who's messaging me on Steam right now? Who the fuck is that? Who's messaging me? Play TF2 with you after? Okay, yeah, maybe. I might do that. You know, we don't always have to lean on what's meta. We don't have to keep going back to the loadouts which we are most comfortable with. We don't always have to obsess over the objective and sweat our asses off. Sometimes it's good to get out of our comfort zone and try and unlock that we've never used. What the fuck is that mod? Vintage beard and then what the fuck is that? After playing TF2 for so long, I think we subconsciously lock ourselves into these rigid play styles and fail to experiment and push the game to its limit. You know, Thank I you get that you have 20,000 kills on your strange sniper rifle, but maybe on that next life you could take a note out of Bing Soy's book and give the Huntsman a go. Or maybe the next time you're on demo, you could swap out that iron bomber you love so dearly and try out the lock and load. And hey, it has been a while since you used the holiday they punch as heavy, hasn't it? So you know what? I like how he says all this, like almost like, you know, experience different things. Experiment with your loadout. Like, bro, I just play Pyro. That's the only thing I play as. Maybe Bingsley isn't so strange after all. Honestly, I think he encapsulates the beauty of TF2 so well. So look, maybe Bingsley will respond to, respond to my message one day. Maybe he'll provide Obama, me with all the answers I, I wanted. Barack or will reach Obama a nice and clean resolution of the enigma Bing that is Bingsley. But honestly, I don't really want him to. I don't really want him to. Want him to. <gasps> He's gonna reach That's out. That's where things were supposed to He's gonna be. reach out. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. One day I noticed a Steam notification when I got back to my PC from Bingsoy, and he had sent me a link to a Google Drive folder. I did record a live analysis of discovering this folder with fellow investigators Corey and Sleepy, which I will weave in at times, but it was honestly a mess. So I'm just gonna do some post commentary, explain everything that happened after this point. The Google Drive Bingsoy gave us contained four files. The first was a file named El Maxo's Questions, which as the name suggests, contains those questions I mentioned earlier in the video. The next file called Readme is unfortunately only for my eyes as directed by Bingsoy, but I will say that he gave me express permission to use he everything else he sent hasn't tries to copyright strike the video, you from so you don't using worry about the word that. Next up was a folder named seconds. Main Images, Lol. which contains the bulk of what we are going to be analyzing. But before I get to that, I want to discuss the content. Imagine if he opens the folder and it will just be pictures of his house. <laughs> of other, which like, I know where you live. Three images. The first was a drawing titled Stick, which contained a stick figure drawing of my soldier with his tyrant's helm, along with my little dog Mackie on the shoulder. I also presume that it's Bing Sui on the right, but what I found a little distressing is the straight expressions on their face which don't suggest much happiness, which is a little sad. The next image was called Sticker, and this contained something similar to those visuals we saw in the intro to his video, Requiem, which was a little distressing. We can see someone who seems to be isolated from a group of people, but we'll talk a bit more about this later. The final- I I've got a nasty feeling that this guy, Bing Soy, the, the kid in Isaac, in Binding of Isaac, I mean Isaac the character, that, that is probably based off of this guy and his home life. The image in the folder was called Stickest, which seems to be an MS Paint drawing of someone approaching a house 
in the woods. I'm not sure how to interpret this, and the only thing I could really recognize was a TF logo in the window. Thank so you, Sapphire, for joining. Any ideas as to what this may mean, be sure to leave it in the comments. I will admit that folder was quite cryptic, and I'm still not fully sure how to interpret it, but the most important stuff for us is in the folder named Main Images, in which Bing Soy has not written his answers out to my questions, but instead drawn them. We can start with question one, which was what compels you to play the game like you do, and here was his response. The first image which depicts someone pouring a liquid into a glass, we deciphered to mean experimentation, which confirms our belief that Bing Soy likes to push boundaries with the strategies he uses. The second image depicts a little astronaut on the moon with a flag, which we believe to mean a sense of accomplishment. Maybe Bing Soy wants to be the first person to popularize these strategies and make them more well known. The one thing we weren't sure about was what looked to be- I really wish I had people this mentally unstable in, uh, in my community, man. Like, like me, ch me chasing this shit, this is, this is genius. This is so cool. A little play button on the moon. So perhaps he wants to grow his YouTube channels with these different types of strategies. We weren't hundred percent sure. The third image we choking. Oh, that's, uh, that's the magician guy from Inscription. The little green guy. ...deciphered as genuine Achievement. insanity uh, yes. with the eyes. We didn't realize it at the time, but as famous YouTuber It's Feckin' Raw from YouTube channel It's Feckin' Raw told us, is that this was a drawing of a character from the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah. I'm not going to act like I have ever played it. So he's so reused, he's reused sure that. that. The fourth That's image interesting. Pretty obvious. So again, if he's part of the Inscription fan base, he's doubly insane. Like he actually, he needs to be locked up and looked at. And we think this means Bing Soy wants to level up his intelligence in the game with what he can do. I mean, it's no surprise, but by doing all these wild strategies, Bing Soy is definitely going to have a more broad knowledge of TF2 and how it works. And finally, the image I found most interesting was a little Bing Soy on scales. It seems that he thinks that there is more negativity in the TF2 community, as symbolized by the broken heart weighing more, and Bing Soy wants to use his wacky play style to bring more love and positivity to the community, which I think is really admirable. So, to answer why Bing Soy plays the game so differently, it's because he likes to experiment, he wants to be the first to succeed with these strategies, he's insane, kidding, I don't fully know about this one, he wants to level up his intelligence, and- Okay, no, he is insane, he genuinely, D don't, don't put JK, if you've been following this guy around for so long and he plays like a literal line of code and then he's sending you very vague messages and images. He wants to bring more positivity to the community. The second question I asked him was what was his favorite unconventional strategy to use in TF2? And the answers are a lot more direct here. At the top left, we can see the classic Girardi and Bushwhack. I just love only in TF2 would you get this man. Only in TF2 would you would you get like someone this bizarre that they create this almost like ARG. A combo which I will admit I it's, it's so don't cool. think is all that unconventional. The bottom left is a strategy we have seen a lot of in this video. And that oh, is thank you, Dismantle, for the five gifted, man. Appreciate it. Plays he loves to do. Finally, and what was one of my favorite pieces of art he made for this, is the Pyro Shark, which of course means that one of his favorite unconventional strategies also happens to be Pyro Shark. The third question I asked him was if he had any long-term goals with TF2 or YouTube, and this one was interesting. The first image here is easy to decipher, and it's clear Bing Sui really likes YouTube and wants to see his Okay, so that's growing. Yeah. relate to. The second He's, like, if he's drawing this stuff, he is actually talented as well. The image was a little complex, so we'll take it bit by bit. Middle... So that's like, that's play, that's the playtime icon on Steam. I'm not sure what that is. That's like uploading. It's an information icon, so maybe he's teaching people. You've got the lambda sign there. Oh, like, yeah, like a lot of it is an information sign, which we assume means that Bing Soy wants to put out some educational content about, firstly, demos, because as we've seen, he's actually really good with using the demo system. Secondly, video making in general. Thirdly, we weren't too sure about, and the fourth- I mean, that, that that's just playtime. That is the same icon as Playtime on Steam, right? No, it's not. It's a little bit different, actually. One kind of looked like a strategy or maybe movement. We weren't entirely sure about that. The third image was a wholesome one. Uh, as we can see, is a love heart in a little film reel with my tyrant's helm, no zero's icon, Corey's light bulb, and Uncle Dane's Engie, which may mean there is a video coming out or maybe even some potential collabs. So I'm not sure, but it, it seems pretty exciting. The final image, or rather group of images, was all of Bing Soy's different YouTube channels linking into one main area off screen. So maybe this means a central channel is coming, or a crossover, or maybe even a Bing Soy cinematic universe, which would be very awesome. So to summarize this third one, we can see he has goals about growing his channel, making some educational content, a potential collab or video with some other creators, and perhaps some more cross over with his animation and music channels. The fourth question I asked him was what were his thoughts on the increased level of attention he has gotten from the community in the past six months. And this answer was both intriguing but also saddening. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. The guys, this isn't good. I think he may be suffering with a little bit of imposter syndrome already, guys. Oh goodness gracious. The first image relates back to one of his drawings in the first response, where he feels that the TF2 community has more negativity than positivity, and he wants to bounce it out. Now, after He's one of the people that wants it to be paid again, to kick all the free people up. This, it actually tells a bit of a story with the timeline of images, starting with Bing Sui on the left being found by myself, No Zero, and Corey. 
The attention from us, and I assume the wider community, prompted Bingsoy to blow the metaphorical dust and webs off his camera, or in this case, his YouTube channel, and started making videos again. We can see he did- He's actually really talented if he can make art like this. Like, I know it's basic pixel art, but the, but the understanding and comprehension- This cool little drawing- That's so cool. His Kaber video, and was surprised by the amount of positive attention- it <laughs> Nice. Wait, no. <laughs> Nice. This has led him to being surprised by all the people who recognize him in the game, and has also made him a lot more stressed about making videos, as it's a time-consuming process, and uh, don't worry, Bingsoy, I, I definitely hear you on that one. Now, in the next image, we can see that Bingsoy sees all this new attention as a double-edged sword, because he is grateful for it and having his work seen, but is also stressed out, which makes sense after gaining a lot of eyes on you so quickly. The next image I wasn't all too sure on, so I shall let Investigator Sleepy and Corey give their live analysis. I think it's like he's showing that he's going towards the future, and while the future is uncertain, he feels, he feels as though like he's... he's avoided sadness or something similar. Yeah. The way I see it is like, he, yeah, his journey has a lot of dead ends. If he branches off to the wrong path, it's going to be a dead end. And it's not even like that path, that path has a question mark. So it's not even like that path is the right path, but it's like the one he's going down. Because orange is meant to symbolize him as well, right? So maybe this is where he is currently. Like he doesn't really know, but he knows that there's been like dead ends that he hasn't gone down. The that's interesting. It's not, um, he doesn't know what it could be. It's not the negative community right. that he's used to. The next image shows Bingsoy by himself around a group of people, showing that he feels isolated and disconnected from those around him. Who he okay, th this is just everyone watching this stream. Chat, you can agree, right? This is this is just all of us. This is everyone watching this stream. It's like soft incel. Placed here too, which is something that makes me sad. One thing I've wanted to avoid in this video is otherizing Bingsoy, which I get I can't completely avoid given the bizarre nature of how he plays the game, but it does break me a little that he feels this way about the community around him, and that's something I definitely want to fix. The final image shows this giant magnifying glass with an eye staring down on Bing Sui, which links back to the idea of the stress. <laughs> the amount of people saying yes in chat is actually so depressing. <laughs> and having everything he does watch. The final question I asked Bing Sui was if he had any advice to give the TF2 community, and it actually <sighs> appears he doesn't. I found this interesting because he perceives there to be a lot of negativity in the community, but maybe he doesn't see it as his role to comment on and give advice to everyone about, as he may just see it as his own personal goal for him to do his best on to improve the state of things. The final two images in this folder was this cool bit of art from Bing Sui, where he features his new little logo for his Team Fortress stuff and a little thank you which I am honestly honoured to receive. That's cute. I decided That's to cute. make this my desktop background because it looks really sick and I am really thankful to have discovered Bing Sui who has taken me on such a wild ride for the past half year. So that's everything. I didn't expect any of this and I wrote a script as if he wouldn't respond but to my surprise we actually got some answers. I think the way Bing Sui plays TF2 is great because it's easy to fall into these rigid play styles we've become accustomed to after many years of playing and he breaks that entirely. Whilst I will admit that even sometimes I can't comprehend what he's trying to go for with his strategies, that doesn't really matter because he's just a dude playing the game how he wants to and picking up some video worthy clips in the process. So look, uh, to tie this all together, I want to give you the ending I wrote to this documentary, assuming Bing Sui wasn't going to respond. What's something you'd like to convey? To which Bing Sui responded, keep an open mind. So maybe, just maybe the next time you see a cliff and there's an enemy just across from you, when you happen to have the Huntsman equipped, why not go for that shot? I think it's what Bing Sui would want us to do. Thanks for watching. That's cute. That was a really good video. That was really well put together. All right, I'm gonna boot up uh, TF2 probably. I'm gonna let these donors play though. Couldn't connect to the item server. And then... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, I didn't know I had that mod on. Oh, okay. It's been a good stream.